crazy hat. I was on that Vine app doing 90s references. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Anyways, so the hubs <laughs> is still gone. He's one week all of a sudden I have to go to Oklahoma. And then the next week he's in Louisiana. And then the next week he's out West Texas. And then he comes home for like a day or a night. And he's back out in West Texas. And he was supposed to be home today. And he's not. <laughs> so, still waiting for him to come home. And, yeah. <laughs> I've been fun on the Vine app. And references. So, yeah. I'm, I guess I'm going to put myself out there. Uh, you can find me on the Vine app at Sarah Slurpee as well. Come hang out with me. Um, also, if you guys if you guys are in the Texas area or anywhere, even a state close by, if you guys ever want to hang out or just need someone to talk to, Hit me up. Uh, we can we can get mad when our husbands aren't around, and then we can all congratulate each other when they come home. So, uh, yeah, it's it is kind of it's weird. I mean, I'm actually from San Diego, California. Um, my I was born and raised there, so that that's who I am. I mean, I'm Cali, I guess. <laughs> no, but uh. My husband was actually in the Marines and San Diego. Of course, we have millions of bases. And I actually used to swear up and down I would never, ever, ever marry into anyone in the military. My family's already packed out military. My dad, my brothers, and my uncles. And I just, I have never liked that life. So um, I was never having to be one of those kids that had to go long for long distance, but my family is never around, and my little, even my little brother now is following in all the footsteps and just joined, and he's out in Australia, along with my older brother, out in the sea, and it's crazy, but anyway, so I swore up and down, and would make fun of all my friends who would go on dates with military guys, and, um, of course I had a base ID, so I'd bring them on, and they'd go get their their date on or whatever I'm like oh like it's not gonna last not gonna last um and usually it didn't but anyways so um yeah uh I had a little girl um so just me and her my family and so anyways <laughs> I got into contact sorry for I keep saying um and anyways and well I'm just gonna do that it's that kind of conversation right now I'm thinking off the top of my head sorry um, there it goes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, so anyways, met him, um, at a, <laughs> met him at an old friend's party. I hadn't talked to her in forever. They needed a beer pong partner. So I went, and I was actually going to school at the time at Paul Mitchell, um, which unfortunately I didn't finish. I was like, <laughs> I was so close. I was like less than a month or two away from graduating. I hate myself to this day for not doing it. I'll, I might go back. I don't know. But um, anyways, other than that, so I was doing the, the beer pong and I used to smoke back then, just cigarettes back then, but um, I actually quit two years ago and then I'm an idiot and had one the other day. Blah. In other words, back to the story where we were at. Um, so... Yeah, so I needed a cigarette, <laughs> and it just happens that all these girls kept coming up to me, and they were really drunk, but telling me how they were going to go and attempt to have sex with this guy, and I didn't know anyone there, because I only knew my friend and, and the guy she was dating, but um, yeah, so I was like, oh, that's great, great, have fun. Well, it turns out... um. I ran out of my cigarettes, so there's this guy just, you know, <laughs> minding his business, you know, just drinking by himself, probably getting annoyed by all the ditzy girls there and all the idiot bros, you know, <laughs> like, partying way too hard. I mean, this is a complete, like, nothing but Marine party, and I already can't stand Marines, so I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go sneak away next to this guy, and this guy is probably about to pass out, so I'm just gonna jack his cigarettes. Um, yeah, so I did, and... In between his falling asleepness and trying to get away from the rest of the idiots, same as I, um, exchanged our MySpaces, um, yeah, our MySpace page, um, just for fun, just kind of like, oh, all these idiots, oh, can't you just wait to leave? Now, I had school the next morning, so I only drank like a little bit, and, um, but I ended up stealing all the cigarettes off the night, and basically just 
just mess with them. Like, hey, you're an idiot, and don't turn into those idiots. <laughs> but it, it was, like, very little chit-chat. Anyway, so um, I didn't even remember giving him my MySpace or anything at that point. But, um... Yep. So about two days later, I was um, downtown um, going to school and uh, I get this random MySpace ad from some guy and he's just like, hey, can you do something tomorrow? I'm like, um, I don't know. But you can come tonight and we'll see. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I completely forgot who he was. I didn't. I never knew his name. I had no idea what his name was. But that whole night at the party, the girls kept saying, we're going to F this guy. And we're using his name. Like, we're going to F this guy. And he's so hot, blah, blah, I'm like, whatever. Um, but it ended up being that was the guy. And I had no, no idea. You know? But then I found out. And I was like, oh, you're, you're that guy. Um, no one ended up doing anything with him because he could... He couldn't do anything. He was just like, no, no, these girls are young and idiots and just trying to get in the Marines. So anyways, um, so I couldn't remember what he looked like or anything, but obviously he was bored and had time off base. So I was like, all right, come on down. And I had friends over. So I came up and pulls up in this pickup truck, <laughs> like uber loud, gets out of the car wearing like some Texas country bumpkin type clothing. And I get, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against country people. I, I'm ever since I was little, I've actually been in love with country music and had a thing for, for the country voice. I'm not now. You might get mad at me because I've never been a fan of country people. My mom is from South Carolina though. So, and she's got a, a crazy accent. So, I mean, I can't be against that. But anyway, so he pulls up. I'm just laughing my ass off. I'm like, do not get out of that car. Like, just go away. And he's just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we talked that whole night. And I was like, I don't remember you. I'm like, the only way you can stay is if you go right now. And this was like 1130 at night, close to midnight. And 